morning. Today on our devotion, we shall consider why you must be a light. Our test shall be taken from the book of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 14 to 16. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. God is an awesome Father. He is the best Father in heaven and on earth. And this same Father wants to be proud of you. God really wants to be proud of you as he was proud of Job. God is happy to see the devil, a failure on earth as he had failed in heaven. Nobody could do this for God except you, his redeemed son. Why not take this up as a challenge? This is the confidence that God has in you. As a king would like to have his city full of light at night, so the Lord has set Christians up to be a light in the world of darkness. This means that you, the son of God, you are a set up agent for darkness. The presence of the devil in the world has made the world a terrible place. That is why God has set you all as a light. Let's see what the devil has done to the world and what God has called you to do as an agent of light. Number one, the presence of the devil in the world is to make every man in the world so wicked. Just like Cain. Cain that build a world of violence. God set Christians up to disallow that by being righteous, being pure, being clean in character so that the world will be a place of peace. When peace reigns, we are the devil plants violence. God is honored. When you are the person responsible for such peace, through your character, your life has indeed glorified your father. Number two, the presence of the devil in the world is to make every man in the world lack the knowledge of God. When people lack the knowledge of God, they engage themselves in things that displaces God. And by that, they incur the wrath of God upon themselves. Just as what happened in the city of Samaria. 2 Kings chapter 17 verse 26. Wherefore they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria know not the manner of the God of the land. Therefore he hath sent lions among them, and behold, they slay them, because they know not the manner of the God of the land. We are, there is no knowledge of God. People perish. And for this not to happen, that is why God has set you up, you, his son, up as a light, so that you can enlighten the people and enlarge their vision. That is what God said you, his son, you should do. God I set you up as a channel to fill the heart with the knowledge of God. When you do this, God will be proud of you. Number three, the presence of the devil in the world is to lead the people astray through falsehood and therefore throw them into danger. You remember how the devil led Eve into error and that resulted into a terrible curse upon humanity. Millions of people today believe in error that will lead them into hellfire. Strange doctrines are all over. You are the light that God has set up in the world to warn the people and expose the lies of the devil. You are the one God has set up to put the people into the right direction. I pray that you will not fail God. This is why you must be a light. This is how your life will glorify God. I charge you this morning, renew your commitment to see that there is peace, to see that people have the knowledge of God and people are in the right direction of God. Let's pray this morning. Lord, I bring myself into a new commitment unto you. Wherever I have failed you, Lord, I am sorry. I am sorry, Lord. Lord, I pray that this morning you will reestablish me to be the light that you want me to be. I want us to pray, Lord, let your light shine upon me that I will become the light you want me to be in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. 
a declaration, Dear Father, I have great pleasure to honor you this morning. The great I am that I am, great bestower of all glories. I magnify your name. I magnify your holy name. And I reference your majesty and awesomeness. O oh Lord, enable me to serve thee with reverence and godly fear. As I worship you today, let your grace overshadow me to produce in me principles and dispositions that aid sin, but exalt your glory in Jesus' name. According to your word, Lord, you supply my every need this day and beyond. My petitions before you are answered, and your outstretched hand will defeat all my oppressors, and you will show me your constant love and faithfulness. Amen. Glorious things shall come your way in Jesus.